So this is just quickly in answer to a question about the camera mount that I'm using with this microscope and being able to get the eyepiece and the camera in focus at the same time. Uh, this is not really going to work, but um, you have to, uh, that's kind of a little bit. Take my word for it that that is in focus if I look through the eyepiece and that's also in focus on the camera at the same time. Um, and uh, actually, I guess while I'm at it, there's another question someone had asked, which is if you zoom in, do you have to refocus? Absolutely. Um, at least with this setup, you do. Um, so a lot, a lot of cameras, uh, I guess they have multiple lenses and things and such that if you, um, you know, you zoom in and focus, then you then you can zoom out and it'll stay in focus. But I think you can see here that that's not the case. So you do have to make uh, slight adjustments when you zoom in and out. It's not a big deal. Um, but the important part is that the the eyepiece and the camera are in sync. So when it's when it's zoomed, if I zoom in, oops, <laughs> wrong knob. If I zoom in and then focus this, um, for the camera, then it's also in focus for the eyepiece. So, ah, oh boy, long, a little long-winded there. Um, what I wanted to say, I suppose, is that this is the um, this is the setup I have here. So the camera, I could probably pull this out. I do this with one hand because I'm holding the iPhone with the other one. So this is that. Um, yeah, this is that. A3 RDF50 adapter, and that's just to get from the the C mount lens to whatever this this tube is. I guess it's some kind of standard thing. And then I believe that this part, see, this is the part that slides up and down, um, came with the microscope. So um, now I, of course, have screwed that up. So to get this, you know, what you have to do in order to get this set up is you have to mount the camera in there. It's got just a little rubber O-ring on it, which is annoying, as, as has been mentioned by several people. This thing just rotates on its own, uh, which kind of sucks. I'd like to find a better solution for that. But anyway, you get that, you get something set up there, and um, sorry, this is really awkward with the, with the phone in one hand. It, and of course now it's at an angle. But anyway, the point is you, you get something set up there, focus it uh, through the eyepiece, and then then you have to loosen this, whoops, loosen this thing. And as you can probably tell, right, it's a little fiddly because uh, it's got the camera. So you, you, you know, get this to kind of where it belongs and then tighten the set screw. Um, it's not that hard, but you know, it's one of those things where you, you're never gonna get it exactly perfect, but it's close enough. So I think someone was saying that they have a um, they have a different attachment with their microscope that is threaded in and out to set the the distance, um, but I think that's probably not the important part. I think the important part is to have one of these um, Barlow lens. Uh, you, you want to have one of these adapters. That's um, I can't talk. You know what I'm saying. Get the damn adapter, that's all. And and yes, the field of view is considerably narrower on the camera than it is looking through the eyepieces here, but that's okay. Just have to remember, you know, if I'm making a video or something like that and I'm looking through here, that uh, I need to stay in the middle of the area I'm working in. Otherwise, you know, I might be doing something off screen. So that is much more than I wanted to say about this. That's the setup and I think um, I think the key thing is to make sure that you have the right adapter so that you're able to, um, you know, with, within the travel range of your uh, adjustment here, whether it's a screw type or a slide type, that you're able to get the camera to match the oculars and should be good to go from there.